I'm just gonna cover this in packing paper and put it in a poly bag. It's cheaper than bubble wrap. <laughs> I got that. This adds a little bit of protection. It, this is a book, it's not really gonna need it, but for what they're paying, you know. And then seal it, I'll tape over this. Good to go. Thanks for your order. Oh yeah. So a uh, Mickey biker shirt. Walt Disney World. It was $7.25 plus shipping. I sent an offer, they accepted. It's all wrapped up, folded all nicely. In a poly bag. Yeah. And away it goes. Actually, that might be too much. I'm gonna put it in a DVD mailer, probably. I just put it in a 12 by 10 bubble mailer. It's good to go. Good sale today. Five twenty-five plus shipping. I paid five cents for it. Tim McGraw, baby. Oh yeah. Tim McGraw, you're going in this little. Baggy, I got for free. I get most of my packing materials for free, except for I pay for regular bubble wrap usually and the mailers and stuff. And these I'm actually getting used out of finally. Just put it in that, that that's plenty of protection for a cassette. 525 plus 275 medium mail. Good deal. For a five cent set. Oh yeah. Be 20 extra cents. Get it to them quicker. Medium mail. Yeah, they'd probably get about three or four days quicker. For 20 cents or whatever. Whatever. Volunteer for a couple hours. I got a bunch of stuff. I haven't looked it all up. This that's for shoe storage. And I just cleared out my closet a good bit, so that'll help out. That was 50 cents. Got these guys, this was a quarter. It's probably might be worth a couple bucks, might not be worth anything. This is a beanie baby. Stripers. Okay. Disney Dragon. Ah. I haven't looked up most of this stuff. But I mean if it's like a franchise, if it's Especially Disney, like Disney stuff sells a lot. This is a Sudoku. And it actually has the um, stylus. That's worth probably around 10 bucks. And it was 50 cents. And I got this. This was 75 cents. Mark Martin car. All right. And it's signed, but that does not look like Mark Martin. John, I have no idea what that says. Maybe he just has really bad penmanship. That does not look like an M though. So, I don't know why someone would sign someone else's car. 
I'll have to look it up. I got no clue. But even the car by itself is worth like 10 bucks. So, whatever. Yeah. This book seemed cool. It's real thick. And it's got like. Uh, it like Nazi stuff almost. Oh, <laughs> those wheels. That's pretty cool. Uh, compression tests. It's like how to work on your. How to keep your Volk, Volkswagen alive. And the MSRP is $25. So. I think it's worth five at least. It was a quarter. And they actually brought this out when I was leaving. So, would you want this? Circuit Beats? I'm like, I guess. Yeah. It's weird looking. It's like. I don't, it has a kitty headband and. I'd have to like look through it. It has a microphone. I mean, it's probably worth five, ten bucks, maybe. It, I, I might be surprised. It might be worth more. I don't know. And this turn your um, outlet into a phone jack, and then you have like a wireless phone jack across the, across the room or whatever. I'm. I'm thinking that's 10 15 bucks at least. Knew they're worth like 20 30 dollars. I'm pretty sure. I mean, people don't really use phone jacks much, but some people do. You know, there's still elderly people that refuse to use a cell phone. This I thought was gonna be a lot better. I think it's worth around 30 bucks. I paid a quarter for it. A brand new um, toner. For a Samsung printer and it was one sale only one one sale on eBay and they um, it was like $15 but they had like $15 shipping so this probably cost about it's not even really that heavy probably about four or five bucks maybe seven I don't know it's not gonna be that much though so I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks probably plus shipping we'll see this guy just a little I don't think it's not a beanie baby just a little care bear it's a hello kitty oh Kelly toy trick-or-treat care bear and then a little quarter yeah I don't know, five, ten bucks, maybe. I thought this was like a Stife bear for a second. <laughs> the way it articulates and stuff, but it's a, like an original tie. It's not a beanie baby. So it's before that, I guess. Handmade in China. 1993. But it like articulates. You can go. Ah! Me. Yeah. I didn't see any sales with this one. I'm thinking about five, ten bucks, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. This Bible's in good condition. It's like you read a little bit every day. A bunch of to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Let's just read a little bit every day. So, it's like read the Bible in a year. This thing, that was a, a new, new, it goes for $25, $30. This was a dollar. And I'm thinking 15, 20 bucks probably. Maybe. I usually don't sell that kind of stuff because it's fragile, but. I'll take a chance. We fit. I had the the case for We Sports, and it wasn't in there. So 
I'll have that for when I find a loose copy of it. It's kind of a bummer. There's another signed thing. A signed, um, Salvatore Joseph CD. And it has an extra CD in it, too. The same guy. Someone somewhere wants this. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I would think. I just, I get all these CDs because they're easy to list. They sell slowly, but they sell. This is a little busted up. Is his name Lyric? Eric. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the B look like an L. Alright. Pilgrim's here. friend Stephanie and I only pick them if they're um, in really good shape I got a rescue run oh damn they're this is pretty good condition they're going around town box that's what's up yo yay yay They was going to give this to me, but I ended up paying something for it. I'm pretty sure it's toner. It's brand new, but yeah, I'll have to do some detective work to figure, figure it out. There's stuff right there that might be enough to figure it out. There's no box to it. And I got... I'm gonna have to wash this, but it's it's in good condition. Otherwise, it's a horsey blanket. It's only worth about ten bucks, though. I might, yeah, I might return it. I don't know. It was only like a dollar. And this is like a brand new cut off shirt. Or it's, I mean, it's like a sleeveless shirt. It's not cut off. My worst day fishing is better than my best day working. Oh yeah. And I thought this was a NASCAR guy, but I'm pretty sure it's someone local. It kind of faked me out because it, it looked it looks vintage. But it says Apex screen printing, like Garrett, which is what county I'm in. So yeah. Womp womp. Whatever. Yeah, all all that was around 15 bucks. And, you know, I'll, I'll make that back on one item. So, getting the inventory in here. Oh, yeah. Making some sales. Putting myself to work. I got paid for my Mickey Harley shirt. My vintage Mickey shirt. And this the way it was 430 plus shipping shipping was more than him as far as they didn't pick media mail yes I was gonna put it in a padded um, envelope but it would like move around a lot so I'm just gonna put it in poly bat poly mailer so my PS1 and she bought, went out, got this on the Facebook Marketplace. It's 25 bucks with like 10 games. I already sold a couple of the games. Here's the ones I'm throwing in. I'm just throwing in loose games. That's the best one. $28 and some change. Shipping all in is uh, $44. Throwing two controllers. What I'm going to have to do, like, this doesn't fit, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, seal that up, put it in this box, and then the controllers and stuff are going to be inside, and this is going to be inside here. That's how, how I'm going to do that.
I'm having trouble finding a box. So this is not gonna be super tight. I got these. These controllers are just getting thrown in, and this is going on top. Hopefully I can shut. I'll have to adjust a little bit. I'll have to take one of these out. There we go. Oh man. Just gotta make sure it's not rattling around, which it is. Going above and beyond for PS1 right now. I had it in a box and then I realized it was a region rate B. And I'm like, I'm not paying for that. It puts it at like a five pound rate and it's only six pounds. I guess I could do that. It's been a little bit cheaper. Probably not much. That's gonna be good. Good to go. Oh yeah. Alright, I changed my mind. Now we have a box inception. Mm. Let's see if the fourth time's a charm. Hopefully. Ugh. Fourth time's a charm. All I need was a corned beef box. I work in a restaurant so I get free pack shipping materials. Two PS1 purchaser. You're getting some art there, buddy. Yay, yay. Oh, yeah. And the business art. Oh, yeah. This we so quick. I shot him an offer, they accepted, and that was in like within an hour. Good deal. It's complete with all the accessories, no games. I'm gonna sell them little people. Cost time. Two dollars at the Goodwill. $8.75 plus shipping on top. I got a shipping discount. Bam. Oh, yeah. These little people getting wrapped up, yo. Wrap it, wrap it. I got this in all folded up. I'm gonna fold it up some more, tape it up, you're good to go. It's all bubbled. I got these little boxes. And just go like that. That little person's going on a bubble mailer. See ya. I volunteered a couple more hours. Found some more stuff. This Camel Joe. So this obviously isn't very new. <laughs> it's from the 80s. It is tree bark, but it's spelled different. It looks almost like it says Trebek. Made in America. Crafted pride. I looked these up, they're um, between 10 and 20 dollars. Pretty awesome. Cost. I'm pretty sure she charged me a dollar, but whatever. They're usually 50 cents for me. And this is like a brand new Steeler shirt. I sold one recently. It was like seven, eight dollars. I mean, I'm gonna put around ten probably. It's pretty much new. Yeah. Good deal. Paw Patrol Scout Hat. And then we got Marshall. It has a Velcro... Velcro paws for some reason. Just, I'm not sure why. Let's get the chairs together.
That was like 50 cents, I think. These these might be worth some money, actually. Home interiors and gifts. Texas. It's made in the USA. The bookends. But they have drawers in them. And they both they both do, which is pretty cool. I mean, I might keep them for myself, but they're probably worth about 20 bucks, I would think. This was a quarter for a teacher. Like, it didn't say the original price. I'm thinking around... There's a bell on it. Around 10 bucks, probably. I looked these up. They're around ten dollars. Wormies. It's weird. Um, that's just twenty bucks Canadian. They had a seven dollar sticker on there from Claire's. I'll take that off. But yeah, you, you put this in the microwave, and then I guess it has the little beads in there, like, and I guess it stays warm for your kid, your baby. We'll hug up on it, and it's warm, so it's like, it's like almost, uh, being on your chest or something. This thing, it's 50 cents. You can tell it was in, like, a hardware store, got reduced. But, they're still going. It's still new. I'll just, I'll just have to put it as open box, take that sticker off her. But yeah, it's still going around 20 bucks, so 15 20 dollars for 50 cents. Always a good deal. West Virginia Mountain Mama, take me home. Uh -huh. This is a car flag. It's 50 cents, they're going around 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Around there. I didn't look this one up yet. It's just a digital camera with, with the books and stuff. 8.1 megapixel, which is not great, but you never know. 50 cents, I mean, that's worth, worth, definitely worth a shot there. For 50 cents, I only got one CD, Mayfair Laundry. Real good shape. Yeah, I'll probably get this for myself. I don't know, it's funky looking, it's cool. Bookmark. I actually don't even like using these bookmarks a whole lot because they, they kind of ruin the book. They put a dent in the pages. But I just thought that was cool looking. I might try to sell it. And the rest. I just got these. Uh, I'm going to put them all together in a lot. These drop ins for. Um, For the baby bottles. It's like putting a condom in there. But yeah, they're, um, they want to put the four ounce in one set and then put the eight ounce in. Well, they're all four ounce, except this one. This one's, none of them are really sealed. They all have like a couple missing, so I'm gonna put them all in a lot. And I don't know. It's all a dollar, so if I get ten bucks for a bunch of things, because these are expensive, like this box here, it's probably like ten, fifteen dollars. At least seven. I don't know. But yeah. So and this, I just. Use more storage, it's 50 cents. All that was around 10 bucks, and I will get that back and then some just from that camel shirt, and probably get it back from that. Everything else is gravy. I like gravy. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. I got this thing. It says DVD shelf, but on the actual packaging this is the wall mount for a TV so 
I don't know what it is. I guess I will see. What's going on here? Ah, I missed it. I shall cut the. Yeah, it's a TV mount. It's not a damn. It's not a DVD mount. This, honestly, it's probably about 15, 20 bucks at least, if not more. The weight will like, I probably gotta try to sell this locally, put it on the marketplace, Craigslist, because I'm not gonna use it. Someone out there needs a needs a mount. For a TV, and that thing's brand new. So, for I think 75 cents. I can't sell right. something like that. 75 cents, pretty good. I don't know why they put that on there. DVD shelf. There's no DVD shelf here. Still potential money though. Yeah, yeah. These are over a pound, so yeah, they're gonna be sold locally. I put like ten dollars. I put I uh, put all these together, so it's actually more than a hundred in here. So it's like two hundred. Um, linings and. This one's for eight ounce, eight to ten ounce, and these are four ounces. Sale in my second store. Hip hop abs. And it says you have some happy fast food. Fat burning fast food. Yeah, okay. Why don't you just cook for yourself? It's a lot cheaper and healthier. It's a tip for me. Finally use my I moved all my clothes were um in my other closet in my walk-in closet. I still got computer stuff down here. 